Hey you guys, today I want to talk about a crazy theory I've had since Kingdom Hearts 3 released. I always found it really odd that Sora was saved by Ephemer and after this rode a wave of Keyblades in a very similar way to Vanitas. Ephemer appears at just the right time to make sure Sora stays alive to make his way through the Seekers of Darkness and ultimately help in creating the Keyblade. The other time we saw this Keyblade wave was during the events of Birth by Sleep. Both Vanitas and Xehanar use this wave to gain the upper hand against their rivals. Again we see this wave of Keyblades with a group of wielders who all fought against each other eventually creating the Keyblade and summoning Kingdom Hearts. What if Ephemer did not appear to help Sora but rather to help bring about Kingdom Hearts? We don't know much about him and it's possible he is the one who was left behind when Daybreak Town fell. Maybe he is looking for a way to bring about Kingdom Hearts and use its power to reverse whatever happened. Another thing is that he may not actually be dead here in the scene. In the Union Cross mobile game, he was able to appear to the player through dreams. It's possible that he is using the same kind of technique to speak to Sora. Also, why does he look so confident here, and why does he seem to know Sora, or at least not be confused about what is going on? The only Ephemer we knew was the innocent, curious boy pestering Master Ava for answers, so what caused him to change, and was it a change for the good, or for the bad? And this is probably my shortest theory ever, <laughs> but there isn't a whole lot to talk about here. I just wanted to get this theory out there. What do you guys think? We haven't really had too much interaction with Ephemer, so it's hard to really judge his character or what he could be capable of. I just have this crazy theory in the back of my head that he's bad, and I don't know. I think he's bad. <laughs> um, also, there's a connection with uh, Ventus in Ephemer, and that might be why the Keyblades appeared there, or it could just be that he died in the Keyblade graveyard and just so happened to appear to Sora, and the Keyblade wave that Xehanort summons is just a coincidence. Who knows? <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check out some other theories I've done by clicking the cards on screen. Subscribe or share this and I'll see you in the next video. God, this was so short. I'm so sorry. <laughs>